what is up you guys it is Taylor and today I am so excited about making this video again for you guys this year so today I'm going to be continuing the tradition of my favorite songs at the moment for March 2024 I'm continuing this series and I'm so so excited I think I've been doing this series since 2018 so it's been a pretty long time and I absolutely love making this series giving you guys recommendations for new songs to listen to and I can't believe that I'm doing this again so I really hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you all scratch my channel if you have not already my name is Taylor and we're gonna hop into this video so I just want to say I don't have too many songs to talk about I literally listen to Taylor Swift all day long and I barely listen to anybody else why I don't know I literally have the whole range of Spotify to listen to whatever the heck I want and yet all I do is listen to Taylor Swift so I don't have too many songs to talk about and so I really really apologize but I did try and think of some songs that I've been listening to a lot by like the same artists if that makes sense so this might be kind of a short video I really apologize so maybe like for June I'll have some more people to talk about but anyways I really hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you all subscribe to my channel if you have not ready my name is Taylor and we're gonna hop into this video so we're gonna start with um, number one. So I have a few songs by Taylor Swift that I've been into, and that is Getaway Car, Endgame, Ready For It, Did Something Bad, Betty, and Exile. I love all of these songs. I listen to them very, very frequently. I especially listen to Reputation when I'm washing my hair. I don't know what it is. It's just like just a vibe. And Betty and Exile are just really great songs. I got into Betty because of the Eris Horror movie and then Exile. I think me and my sister were really driving around somewhere and she happened to put this song on and I just like really liked it. It's like a little bit slow and like kind of like a lot to listen to, but I really, really like this song and I just love Taylor Swift. I have an obsession with her now. I don't know what it is but I just love all her music and I just love how she's also like re-recording a lot of like her older music I know that she still has to do Reputation and debut I'm kind of hoping Reputation is next but that's okay uh, but yeah I love Taylor Swift she's great I could go on and on about her but we're gonna talk about somebody else now okay next song that I fit into is a love song by Sarah Morales this song came out in like I don't know 2012 or something and it's still such a pop I don't even know why I started listening to this song I think I could just had it stuck in my head one day and I was like oh my gosh I should put this on and it was like something else besides like Taylor Swift so I got like really excited but yeah I love this song very up and fun definitely a nice little throwback and if you haven't listened to it definitely go check it out okay next two songs that I've been into are by Rihanna and that is we found love with um Who's in that song? I think Calvin Harris. And then uh, Where Have You Been? Such classic Rihanna song. Super upbeat and fun. I love Rihanna. She has the bops. And that's all I have to say. I wish I was more into her, but I'm not. Anyways, um, next song that I fit into is Fire Burning by Sean Kingston. Another like throwback song. I don't even know what year this song came out. But I love Sean Kingston. He's great. I love a lot of his... Um, older music um obviously he did any Meeny with Justin Bieber which has been blowing up on TikTok lately which I think is really funny uh but yeah I love Sean Kingston he's great definitely a big part of my childhood and Fire Burner is honestly so classic I've also been into Beautiful Girls a little bit but not as much as Fire Burning okay next uh few songs that I've been into are by Knox and that is a love letter not to 1975 and Miss We Miss Me with uh, Nightly. I love these songs. Very upbeat fun. Um, I absolutely love Love Letter. One of my favorite songs that he's put out. Not to 1975. It's just a great funny little song. And Miss We Miss Me with uh, Nightly is just great. I heard that live uh, together when they did a tour in November. And it was just amazing. Like truly amazing. So yeah. Love Knox. He's great. I can't wait for him to like put out an album. Because I feel like he'll put out like a single. Like EPs and stuff. But. I think it's time for an album. Um, but anyways, and then the last song that I put into is another throwback song. And that is Say Something by Austin Mahome. I don't know when I got into the song or when I started listening to it again. But sometimes when I stay up at night, which is very, very rare. But like when I do... I'll listen to songs that I have not listened to in probably like 10 years and I listened to this song one night and I forgot how great it was and then like a few days later or maybe some point last year 
Austin Mahone came up on my TikTok for you page and he was singing this song and I was like freaking out. I literally still like have it saved in like my favorite videos. Uh, but yeah, I love his song. Very happy and fun. Love Austin Mahone. He's great. I'm pretty sure he just put out music recently, I think. I don't know. But anyways, those were my favorite songs at the moment for March 2024. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you want me to continue doing this series. Also check out my past uh, favorite songs at the moment for um, March or any month in general. I love you guys. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel if you have not ready. My name is Taylor and I'll see you next week. Alright, bye guys.